Are you considering having an explant or maybe you have an explant coming up soon and you are just freaking out about how am I going to look after my explant? Or maybe you just explanted and it's the first week and you just looked in the mirror and you're just like, this is not how they're going to look, right? I wanna talk about that in this video. I wanna talk about how things are gonna change and what to do during those days and those moments when you're hyper-focusing on the appearance of your breasts. Welcome back, and if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Christina, the founder of Size Happy, the admin of the best Facebook group on Facebook, Breast Implant Illness Rejuvenation and Education with Christina. And you can also find me on Instagram at I am size happy. All right, first thing is first, I want to reassure you that what you see the first month after your explant is not what you're going to see the first year after your explant. It is completely normal to have dents and dips and wrinkles and for them to look smushed and wrinkled right after your explant surgery. So for the first six months after your explant, I actually wouldn't stress too much about the appearance of them and how they're looking because they're going to change even more so from that six month mark to that year mark. After a year, things are pretty much settled where they're going to settle. So, you know, I know it can be startling at first to see your breasts. I was very startled the first time that I saw mine. I am on the small side. I didn't have much, um, you know, after my explant. I know some women, they look amazing after their explant. They have a lot of breast tissue and they're like so full. I'm just, I was not that lucky. So it, it can be very startling and you can be like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? But then we have to center back in and remember like why we did this in the first place. This is something I feel that we had to do in order to get over breast implant illness and to get our life back and to stop feeling the fatigue and the brain fog and the joint pain and the swollen lymph nodes and, and all of that. It was like a risk that we had to take. And I know how easy it is to just jump to judging them, judging how they look and everything after explant. Um, I've judged my breasts my whole life, right? Since I was uh, late teens, I judged them for not being big enough, got breast implants. And then I, I actually was like, oh my gosh, they're so big. And I was judging them when they were big and I had breast implants. And then of course you judge them after your explant. So a little less judgment and a little bit more love is what I would say. Some appreciation and just some gratitude for being healthy and also like a pat on your back for being so courageous to even do this, to take this risk because nothing is guaranteed, but you did it. And I, I mean, I don't think that should be taken lightly. I want you to just also know that you're going to have moments and maybe even days where you aren't fully accepting your breasts. That's normal and that's okay. What I would say then is to just take the focus off of them and center back in to the why. Why I look like this now. I look like this now because I had to explant. These breast implants were toxic and I really, really needed to get my life back. I needed to deepen my relationships. I needed to get back to growing my business. I needed to show up for my family. Like there was just so much that was holding me back because of my breast implants and me being sick. And so it's just always remembering like, whatever, this is just me, like whatever, they look how they look. I can't do anything about it. I'm just gonna love them. I've judged them my whole life and it just doesn't feel good judging them anymore. They've been through so much, um, so much trauma, so much judgment from me. And so, you know, that's just my message for you today is just have some patience, especially that first year after your explant and to start showing yourself a little bit more just acceptance and love when it comes to them because man, we've put them through some crazy stuff, right? All for being beautiful and being loved and being attractive. Well, I'm here to tell you the size of these does not matter. Okay, you can be confident and you can be happy and attractive 
without big boobs. It's a fact. And then I also want to mention one more thing before you go, as I do have a video on here. Um, it's, it's a long ways down, but it's massaging your breasts after explant. And I go over um, how to actually massage them after your explant just to help them settle in and to help reduce the visibility of your scars. So my scar, I'll give you a little pink here. My scar is completely white. Can't really see it. Um, but there's a video on here that goes over the oils that I used and how to massage. So go check that out. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell and like this video and comment. Let me know where you are on this journey. And if you're, you know, if you're having some days or some moments with your breasts, if you're really scared about how they're going to look, just kind of share, you know, your thoughts on your breasts and accepting them and all of that with me in the comments below. All right. Have a great day. I will see you next week. Bye.